What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a breaking news story and we have some players that have confirmed they are out of the Australian Open. They are not playing. Now we know the big ones. We know Federer is not playing. We know Burton's is not playing. Big players out of the top 10. But there are a lot of players that have pulled out in the last week and a lot of players that have big question marks on whether they're actually going to play. Let's go straight to it now, the list of players that are confirmed to not play. So along with Federer, who pulled out a couple of weeks ago, Kiki Burtons, she also pulled out. John Isner, he pulled out, saying that he wanted to spend more time with his family and not risk coming to Australia. And also Garen, he pulled out as well. And Anissa Mova, who tested positive for COVID-19 only about two weeks ago, she has also pulled out. And then the players that are under a big question mark, Andy Murray, he is under a huge question mark because he just tested positive. He's recovering. We have Madison and Keys also a big question mark because she also tested positive about 24 hours ago and both Murray and Keys run the risk of coming to Australia quarantining for 14 days and then having to play the Australian Open straight away with no lead up tournament are they willing to do that that's going to be the question whether they play or not I think so those are the players confirmed let me know down in the comments below is there anyone that I missed is there any players that have pulled out that I have missed that are up in the top 50 or so because there's no doubt we're going to get some more players that are dropping out. But there are players arriving in Australia. I have noticed, I think Dominic Team, Novak Djokovic, those guys are landing in Australia as we speak. So we'll keep up to date with that as well. The Australian Open still going ahead with big names, but names are dropping out.